We are back. We are going to take a 10 minute break. Um, so let me know how you did in that session of uh, 60 minutes because um, we are doing the Paxodoro technique for this week. For those who don't know what the Paxodoro technique is, um, it's really simple. Uh, I actually. Uh, kind of designed it in a way where it makes sense for middle school students, for high school students, even for college students, I would, I would, uh, argue. Um, the idea behind it is for those people who go to work, who go to school, you're working eight hours a day, you're going to school six to eight hours a day, minimum, something like that. Um, and then you also have extracurricular activities and then you come home and what do you do? You want to crash or you want to spend time with family? Nope, but you got to do homework. Nope, but you got to do work. Some some sort of productivity, right? So the idea behind it is to do 60 minutes of hard work towards one hard task. And then you take a 10 minute break and then you do 50 minutes of hard work. And then a 10 minute, ta uh, 10 minute break, 45 minutes, 15 minute break, 30 minutes, five minute break, 25 minutes, five minute break, and then you repeat the cycle if necessary. Because let's face it, we all work, we all go to school, we all do something specific to productivity if we're here. Or if you're just hanging out and you just like the tunes, that's totally fine too. Um, but the idea behind it is that everybody's got most likely a pretty hectic schedule. And so this helps with that schedule. You prioritize the hardest 
task first and then the simplest at the end. Um, and then if you need to just repeat the process all over again, you just do it all over again. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, hey, Steph, how you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome back and stuff. Uh, Julie, you got a four out of ten. That, I guess that would be kind of like a two for out of five. Um, I should probably go with some, like, new sound bites specific to this week. But I haven't had time, so that's why we're sticking with the usual. Um, so, was distracted. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Amber, you got a 5 out of 5. Uh, I'm 100 pages into my book. I'm currently reading Bride by Allie Hazel, Hazelwood, a paranor paranormal romance. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Bride. I hope you enjoyed the, the book. Uh, Christy, you got a four out of five. Um, reading None of This Is True, which is completely unhinged. Kind of digging it. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I am tempted to shut off at the end of a work day and doom scroll. So Paxidoro is good for getting me to actually do something reading that will help me shut down and relax. Yeah, even though doom scrolling isn't doing anything, it's not particularly relaxing. Mm. Yeah, so I, I forget when I started doing it. It was at some point when when I was a study streamer. Um back in the day which was a Wednesday but um yeah I just remember that the the method was really helpful if I was doing like a long project I would do 60 minutes of study or work time and then 10 minutes of break but um I just know that when I come home from a long day of work or if I've you know, if I was a junior high kid, which I used to be a junior high teacher, so this kind of makes sense. But if I was a junior high kid coming home from a long day of school, the first thing I would think of is, do I want to do the simplest task or do I want to do, like, the hardest task? For me, it made more sense to do the hardest task first only because I had enough energy to do that. Towards the end of the night, I'm, you know, my, my brain is mush. So that's kind of where that came from uh, when I was working with my students back in the day. So, yeah, yeah. Was reading Harry, uh, I'm assuming that's Harry Potter 6, right? Uh, with my kiddo and finished it, put him to bed, and now he, now ready to do some myself. So a five out of five. Very nice. <laughs> nice, Kay. That's, that's great. Uh, I loved None of This is True. Ooh, so that's, that's going to be hopefully a good book for you, Christy. Uh, Krista, you got a two for out of five. Got here late and got distracted, but I shall start reading. So I am currently, right now what I'm actually doing is listening to the audiobook uh, Mistborn by uh, Brandon Sand. Well, it's Mistborn Hero of Ages. It's the third book. Uh, by uh, Brandon Sanderson, and um, yeah, I'm just doing some research as I'm listening, so that's pretty much it. Don't know where the V came from, lack of sleep. Uh-huh, it could be the lack of sleep. Uh, very, very so true. Um, how was the wedding? The wedding was great. Um, it was, I think it was a really great trip. Um... I hadn't seen my dad's side of the family 
for about six or seven years, give, give or take. Um, and it was just really nice to be there with them. Uh, I kind of wish I was able to spend more time with them. But at the same time, it's nice to be home. Uh, Mexico, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Believe me, the people that live in Mexico are amazing. Mexico itself, the weather wasn't terrible. It was actually okay because it's April. Um, but, I mean, just hit May, and then you're like, ah, oh, get me out of here, you know. So it was, it, it, you know, in that regard, uh, weather-wise, it wasn't too bad. Um, and Mexico that I'm just like, I don't really want to be here, but it was, it was a great trip overall. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. My, uh, brother, my sister, my dad, my aunt, uh, my niece, my brother's daughter came along. Uh, so it was, it was great. Uh, thanks for asking by the way. I need to start book four of Wheel of Time, maybe tomorrow. What, what time is it where you're at? Okay, I always forget. Lack of everything for me. Hey, Julie, how you doing? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, it was funny, too. My brother even caught my dad saying, yeah, no, yeah, in Spanish. And I was like, <laughs> it makes sense. You know, father, like father, like son. But he said it in Spanish. I said it in English. It was funny. So this next session, what we're going to do is a 50-minute Pomodoro, also known as Paxodoro, and a 10-minute break. So good luck, everybody. Uh, don't forget to uh, tip your waiter with a like button, and uh, here we go.
Okay, everybody, we are back. We're going to take a 10-minute break. Actually, sorry, we're going to take a um, 15-minute break because the next uh, Paxodoro that we're doing is uh, 45 minutes. So, uh, let me extend this by 5 minutes. Come on, baby. There we go. So, we're taking a 15-minute break and playing a little game of would you rather? Uh, don't everybody clap at once. It's okay. Um, right. <clears throat> Would you rather? Do? Come on, baby. All right. So, um, how did you guys do in your session? First, we'll do that, and then we'll go into the game of Would You Rather. Uh, I may have missed something. Hold on. <clears throat> Skipping next break, I'm going to be... Oh, now listening to Mandarin as I have to clean up my son's room... And won't say what I have to... Oh, hopefully everything's okay. Uh, let's see, Paulina, you got a 5 out of 5. And welcome back, Paulina. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Read 95 pages of a graphic novel. Now, are we talking like regular pages? Because a graphic novel is kind of like comic book-ish, right? So, that's still a lot. Still a lot. Uh, Steph, you got a four out of five. Oh, you kidding? <laughs> Fun times. Red Shark Heart and Talk to the Fam. Oh, good. I hope you had a good uh, chat with the fam. Uh, would you rather have magic power or t telepathy? Ooh. I don't know. That's actually a good question. Um... Amber, you Fire. got a 3 out of 5. Very nice. Yeah, it's like comic strips, but in normal book pages. Very Oh, very quick read. Cool. Um, okay, so let's move on to Would You Rather. I'll think about the one that you just asked, uh, Sean. But in the meantime, let's go to this. Oh, and I lost my timer. But it was like about 12 minutes, right? Let's see. Where is it? And let's, yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so I'll just put 12 minutes for now. And we'll put it like right here. Okay, so the question is, would you rather only eat fast food, quick, convenient, many options, or only eat homemade food, takes longer, cheaper in the long run, Cooking flexibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Magic powers for me, Sean. Nice. Uh, Krista, you got a five out of five. Very nice. At the at the point in the story where I want to finish it, but I have work in the morning and uh, need to go to bed soon. Paulina, you're going to say homemade because my mom will make it. Nice. Hashtag spoiled. Love it. Amber, you're going to go with black. Uh, Krista, you're going to go with only eat homemade, but not cook it. But not cook it. Uh, Sean, you're going to go with homemade food. So, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm up for <laughs> I'm up for adoption. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Um, I just came back from Mexico and had home-cooked meals. And it was so simple, but so amazingly good. And um, it was just amazing. And, oh, my aunt made tortillas from scratch. You guys, seriously. I could just eat the tortillas and be fine with life. 
It's amazing. Um, okay, so uh, survey says, "Dang, Gina, seventy-six percent in favor of eating a home-cooked meal." Um, would you rather be short but buff? <clears throat> Uh, or be tall, but skinny. Um, let me know what you think. Blue pill, or no, actually black pill or white pill. <laughs> There's no blue pill or red pill anymore. Fresh tortillas are the best. Yes, indubitably. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I'll take short and buff. <laughs> I'll take uh, short and buff for 500, please, Trebek. Oh, Trebek. <laughs> I just realized what I said. Oh. Okay, uh, Amber. <laughs> That's terrible. Too soon. Too soon. Okay, uh, Amber, uh, you, uh, you're going for black. <laughs> Man, that's messed up. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Short and buff because I already am. I love the answer. I love it. Love it. I mean, I'm already short, but buff. I think we're all buff. Um. Yeah, I know. Wah, wah, wah. I felt. I felt bad the moment I said it. I was like, ah, oh, cannot believe I said it. Uh, right. So, let's see. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna still go with be short but buff. And survey says, dang, Gina. Well, I'm out. 60% in favor of, uh, being skinny and stuff. Okay. So, um, okay. Would you rather grow a pumpkin-sized nose when you lie... Or grow donkey ears when you're jealous. I mean, I don't know what that really. Mm, I don't know. I have tall friends and family. They can reach everything for me. I love the problem solving. I love it. Um. So, I don't know. It's. You know what? I. I get. There's. Who who wrote this? Who wrote this? I'd like the experience of a tall day, though, and seeing seeing everything from a different perspective. Uh, black for you, Steph. Uh, black for you, Amber. And Paulina. Black, I guess. Yeah, I know. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Black, I guess, too. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a dumb question, actually. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, grow a pumpkin-sized nose uh, when you tell lies. Chris said donkey ears. I lie to patrons all day. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> uh, my middle school students are taller than me, and they love when I ask them to reach things for me. Yeah, I never ask for, for help in that. No, never, 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 never. Uh, Sean, you're going to go with white? I know, right? We'll just go with that. I have a friend who is 6'5", and he did a live stream once with a camera on his forehead, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's how you see the world? <laughs> oh my gatos. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Let's see here. Uh, so, survey says... Yeah, grow donkey ears. That's what I thought. Grow donkey ears. Okay, so, the next question is... Um, would you rather fail every class in school, but everyone is proud and happy for you? I don't know who would be proud and happy for you that you have failed. But whatever, let's follow along. And or pass every class in school, 
but everyone hates and envies you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, indubitably. God hates jealousy too. Thou shalt not covet. That's right. Um, okay. I don't know who would be happy that I'm, I failed everything. I don't know. Maybe they're happy that I failed only to succeed later. Eh? I don't know. I don't, I don't know where to take this question, actually. I'd have said black, but now I'd say white because at least I was... I hope I was trying. I, I know, right, Krista? It's like black, I guess? Is there a blue option? Is there a blue option? <laughs> Amber, you're going to go with uh, white? Okay, white. Feeling would stress me out, but I'd be so sad if everyone hated me. Yeah. I think my friends and family would be proud of me regardless. Uh, regardless question. Yeah. My, my hope is that I would hope, hope that my family would be proud of me regardless. But that's not the question, folks, is it? I don't know. I don't know where to take this, but I, I guess I'm going to say, everyone, like everyone, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to go with white. <laughs> I don't know if I can have everyone hate me, like that would suck. Um, they wouldn't hate me if they put me, put in more effort and excelled like me, right? I mean, yeah, no, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a say, uh, pass every class in school, uh, or no, no, I'm sorry, uh, fail every class in school, but everyone is proud slash happy for me. This could have happened in like kindergarten by the way. So I'm just going to go with that and then succeed later. <laughs> okay. Uh, survey says, wow, really? 56%. Didn't see that coming. Uh, oh, what happened? Okay. There we go. Uh, would you rather have hair everywhere on you or have hair nowhere on you? Ooh. So, that's frightening. <laughs> that's a frightening thought. I, who, seriously, if somebody got paid to write this, I'm going to be pinched. Hey, Nori. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome back. Krista, you're going to go with um, black. I just keep thinking about like the cone heads. That was a really, really interesting time in my life. <laughs> Seeing the cone heads on SNL. Um, oh no, that's good. I'm glad you were able to take a nap. Uh, right? I guess, Black. I mean, who, who am I not paying back here? Come on. Uh, definitely black. White sounds cozy and warm. <laughs> Hair on my cheeks, lips, fingers? No thanks. Yeah, that's a good point. Just imagine doing that, trying to like, I don't know, eat pizza or something. It's just like, it's all over the place. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go with have hair nowhere on you. <laughs> So I'm going to go with black. Amber, you're going to go with black as well. Okay. And survey says. 68%. 68% folks. Get with the program. Okay. 68%. Get with the program. And I can get a wig. That's a good point. That's a good point. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for playing uh, Would You Rather. We are going to do a 45-minute Pomodoro slash Paxidoro uh, this session because for those of you just joining, we're doing 60-10, 50-10, 45-15, which we just did. We did the 15 part. Now we're doing the 45-minute session. And then we're going to do 35, 25, hut, hut, hike. And then if need be, we would repeat the process all over again. But in this case, we're not going to do that because it's getting late, folks. It's getting late. So just thought I'd mention it. Uh, right. So next is our session of 45 minutes. Let me put it up on the clock. Or timer or whatever. And there it is. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please do me a huge favor. I would really appreciate it. If you hit the like button because it does invite people like yourself to this live stream. And uh, if you haven't done so either, I would love for you to also hit subscribe because really, I would like to have you come back. This is the very first night of the Paxidoro technique. Hence the super Paxidoro world thing, right? Uh, and we're going to be doing that for this entire week. The only thing that will change is up to you. Do you want the music playing in the background on the week or on the uh, break time? And then ambient sounds during the study session? Or do you want music playing all the way through? You let me know. There's a poll in the chat. Go ahead and answer that poll. And at the end of the poll, I will... I will uh, base my decision off of uh, that. So, good luck, everyone. And uh, may the force be with you and stuff. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to pop out for this session. I'm going to get some din din because I haven't had din din. But then I'll be right back at the break. Capish, Kapash.
if I just lose my mind, make a scene and run around, show you what I feel inside all the time. Hey. What if I just lose?
everybody. <clears throat> we are back. We're going to do uh, a small break. So instead of uh, 10 minutes, we're only going to take a five minute break. Uh, I mean, technically, we already took the five minute break, but we're going to take another five minute break. Um, <clears throat> how did you guys do? Please let me know in the chat. Mm. All the best, Julie. Hopefully, uh, you get some good uh, rest for the rest of your day. That was a good session, but I'm heading to bed. Have a good night, Steph. Hope you have a pleasant rest. You're welcome. And Jen, you got a three out of five. Fire! Fire. Finished charting, but took my sweet time doing it. Love it. Um, and then Paulina, you also got a three out of five. Fire! Got a bit distracted. Mm. Have a good night, Jen and Paulina. Good night. And uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Um, which I will update the schedule at some point today or tonight. I forgot to do that, so I'll do that actually in this next session. Because in this next session, we're going to do a 30-minute Paxodoro. Um, and then the session after that, we're going to do a 25-minute uh, Paxodoro with a 5-minute break. Uh, and then we'll call it a night. If we end up doing longer uh, live streams, like where I start at 8 in, in the morning or something like that, that's when we will not normally do the Paxodoro technique. But for this week, we will, if I ever start at 8 in the morning. So just letting you guys know. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay, there we go. Cool. Well, tax day was fun. I had to deal with that at this hour. And by the way, for those of you who are keeping track, it's 2157. <coughs> it's almost 22 hours. <coughs> also known as 10 p.m. And it's ridiculous that I have to talk to somebody at this hour. To get my taxes done. Redunculous. Redunculous. Right. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah. Redunculous. So tax season is officially over. I was able to get my taxes uh, in earlier this uh, afternoon. But then they called me back saying like, hey, we need your business account information. I was like, why? <laughs> well, because he got hit with tax stuff. So what are you going to do? You get hit, you get hit. <laughs> That's funny. Did I miss something? Hmm. Huh. Thank you, Paulina. Okay, guys. So we're going to do uh, a 30-minute Paxodoro coming up. And then um, we'll take a five-minute break. Now we'll do a 25 minute Hexadoro and then call it a night. So, good luck everybody. And I will see you guys in 30 minutes.
All right, everybody, we are going to take a five minute break and then we're going to get back to it. We got one less or one session left of 25 minutes and then we'll uh, call it a night. Uh, for those of you who are just joining, welcome. Uh, we are doing what is called the Super Paxodoro uh, Technique, if you will. It's similar to the Pomodoro Technique, <clears throat> only with a twist. So we do uh, sessions such as 60 minutes of study or reading or productivity time, 10 minutes of break, then 50 minutes, 10 minutes, then 45 minutes, then 15 minute breaks. And then we'll do a 30 minute session and then five minute breaks and then 25 minute session and a five minute break. And then we will repeat the cycle if necessary. But because of the time that we start throughout this entire week, which by the way, all my uh, live stream uh, times are available on my website as of right now. So you can go check that out. Um, but because because of the time that I have to start the session, we're doing this um, because the concept comes from, for those of you who work full-time or even part-time for that matter, uh, or you go to school full-time or part-time, uh, the idea is, you know, you, you put in six to eight hours worth of work and then you come home. What's, what's usually the norm? Uh, for anybody who's in school, the norm is you have to do homework. Uh, some of you end up doing work at, at home as well. So this is just a good way to kind of uh, start with the priority on your list. Whatever that, that priority is, that it's the hardest out of all the things that you have to accomplish for that day. So that's why we start with 60 minutes to give you the most amount of time to work on the thing that's the very most difficult uh, task that you have for that day. Then you do 50-10, 45-15, 35, and then 25-5. Um, so all, all that to say is that, um, it's proven to be very helpful with my students when I used to teach, uh, middle school. So, um, it's, it's applicable to anybody. Um, some people like it, some people don't, but on this channel, we're going to do that for the rest of this week. And then when we come back next week, we're going to probably do a mixture or possibly just go back to 50, 10, because that's what we normally do on this channel um and hopefully you guys like the music and also hopefully you uh enjoy all the fun stuff that's up on the screen right now uh right so how you doing how's everybody doing paulina you got a four out of five I only have 25 pages left in my graphic novel. Very nice. And Jen, you got a 4 out of 5 as well. Uh, Rishi, welcome back. It's good to see you. You got a 5... Oh, a 2 out of 5. So, uh, it'll be one of those suckers. <clears throat> I did get a new fountain. I'm pretty sure you can tell by the uh, noise it creates. But it's actually really nice. Like, at first I was like, wow, that's really, really noisy. But after a while, I kind of got used to it. Um, just in a short amount of time, really. Um, I set it up when I came back from uh, my trip to Mexico. And I set it up. It was really easy to set up. I think it took me like 15 minutes total. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, yeah, I like it. Um, although at night, I do admit I turn it off because, you know... I just I turn it off. <laughs> uh, I can't hear the noise. I just saw the lights behind you, and it took me a second to figure out what it was. Oh, really? Oh, so you can't hear it. I mean, it's super loud in this room. Um, but it's a good thing you can't hear it, I guess. And that you can hear my voice. <laughs> uh, I slept for nine hours. Oof. <laughs> I like those emojis, though. I miss Laura's stream. Ah, uh, yeah, um, but uh, she's probably going to come back uh, tomorrow, so. Uh, and then for this session, guys, we're not doing 30 minutes, we're doing 25, so let me put that in real quick. 25. Blam. 
Okay, so good luck, everybody. And uh, if you haven't done so already, guys, please feel free to hit the like button. It really does help uh, grow the channel. And then also hit subscribe. I'd love to have you guys come back uh, for future live streams. Good luck, everybody, and may the force be with you and stuff.
Let's see. There we go. Okay. All right, everybody. So, um, uh, let's make sure that we're... Ah, there we go. How did you guys do? Please let me know. In the chat.
Rishi, you got a four out of five. Nice. Very nice. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, Jen, you got a five out of five, I just saw. Very nice. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think for me, uh, you know, the fun, the, the, or not the fun necessarily, but the best thing about doing uh, this method, this uh, technique, is the 30 minute and the 25 minute um, Paxidoro are really intense because um, you, you don't really have too much time. To like mess around you have to get kind of get to it which is interesting because uh there's two there's two thoughts i have one is that the 60 to 25 method for me personally it works if i come home from a long day of work or studying or whatever right um and what i know to be true is the 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 uh the like, if you, if you do 50 and 10, 50 and 10, you run out of gas really fast. Um, some people would say, like, you know, you build up a tolerance and, you know, or you you practice enough and, you know, you can handle it. Um, but I personally like this, this method. Uh, I think this method is just better. Um, uh, there was another thing I was going to say, and I totally blinked. Um... But anyways, uh, this this method I think is the most effective for me because the the thirty minute uh, and the twenty five minutes are oh and that's what I was gonna say the thirty minutes and the twenty five minutes are really effective because you have to focus. But um, it's interesting because when you do a sixty minute Paxodoro or Pomodoro, uh, it takes you on average seventeen to twenty three minutes to kind of get settled in for your first um session of the day um on average for anybody who's you know studying or working or reading whatever it is that you're doing usually takes you about that much time to kind of get settled in so um that's why i like starting with the 60 because it just i feel more productive you know so anyways uh thanks rishi i will see you later thanks so much for stopping by and uh hanging out with us but unfortunately, we gotta go. It's that time. Um, and if you haven't done so already, guys, I'd love for you guys to do me a huge favor and hit that like button because it really does bring more people like yourself to this live stream. And uh, I really hope that um, you guys are able to uh, come back at some point. It'd be nice to have you guys back. There we go. Uh, and in case you haven't seen my uh, my live stream schedule, go ahead and check that out. But until next time, remember to be kind and rewind. Buenos nachos, Hadouken! <laughs>